Baby, you a song, you make me wanna roll my windows down oh. Come here, you big boy Whoa! Whoa! Yes! There he goes. Got him on film too. Oh my. There's like five or six of them. That's a big one. Oh my god. It's another toad. That's another toad. <laughs> Popper boys. This one was not coming on. So done. Here. That is a spot. Is a spot? That's a spotted bass. Yeah, we're not taking you anymore. Is it spotted? Yeah, it's a spotted bass. Tone. Nice spot. That's my PB spot. No, first spot you've ever caught. I told you they fight harder than largemouth. Should I do it underwater? Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's a smallie. Oh my god. No. That might be a spot. That's a large amount. Okay, in this video, we are fishing the St. Lean River in Benton, Arkansas. And all we were throwing, we were going after smallmouth, largemouth, and spotted bass. And today, or yesterday, we were using poppers. I was throwing this storm little popper. And it's like all, all messed up from yesterday. And so I'll go over what kind of rod I was using, what kind of reel I was using. So I, my lose or my reel, I got a lose speed spool LFS, a uh, and six eight to one gear ratio. And I got this with. 15 pound fluorocarbon because we could only bring one rod so this is my most versatile rod and I have this on a lose uh, TP1 and this is a 7 foot medium action and I got this at Tackle Warehouse about a few days ago so and they rain well, I got mine on sale, so they range from about 180 to 200 on how much you want to spend on a rod and reel. But, um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.